So this is the laptop I'm working with today. It's um, it's a Lenovo IdeaPad 100S. It's an 11 inch. Um, it's got a 32 gig EMMC or whatever uh, onboard flash memory. And uh, so I accidentally deleted the partition and I've been on this for a few days now trying to figure out how to reinstall Windows on it again. And I came across that Windows 7 will not work. A 64-bit operating system will not work. So the only way I got this to work was I used Power ISO to make a bootable flash drive. And as you can see here, I chose going down. I chose Windows 10 32-bit. And once I chose that, uh, I left this here. I chained a file system to FAT32. And that's all you really need. And you press start. Make sure it's at least a 16 gigabyte flash drive. Uh, once you do that, you want to go over to the computer. Computer, when it's fully shut off, when you turn it on with the power button on the top left, you're going to hold function key plus F2. That will take you into the BIOS. Once you're in the BIOS, you're going to scroll over to configurations. And when you go down, there's going to be a secure boot toggle. You're going to toggle that off. Secure boot has to be off. Um, once secure boot is off, you're going to shut it down by holding the power button again completely. Once it's fully shut off, you're going to plug in an external keyboard because um, I've already tried this. The keyboard itself and the touchpad for some reason lock out. Will not work. Maybe it's just my laptop. But for me, it locked out. So I need a basic external keyboard. I used the K200 Logitech. Plugged it into the one USB port. And then I plugged in my USB uh, bootable flash drive. And then I used the Novo button that's up here next to the LED with the computer fully shut off you're going to press that with a pin and it will boot into about three four options you're going to choose system recovery once you choose system recovery it will then boot from your flash drive you'll get the windows 10 uh, welcome screen then you just press enter on this external keyboard and it should go to the next page where you have to read uh, you have to read and agree so for that to be able to check the box you're gonna press the space bar the space bar will check the bar uh, the box and uh, you press enter to go next and then you choose you can choose the first option to keep your original stuff but like me I deleted the partition so there was nothing on there and so I chose the second option the advanced option and I deleted all partitions and I I made it into one partition and then once it was all one partition, I press next and this is the page I'm on. So hopefully this goes well for me, but uh, this was the only way I got this to work. So hopefully this helps you guys as well.